It's Wednesday, which means top five Wednesday time. When we got to topics for June's top five Wednesday videos, I was immediately very excited for today as I really like last sentences. They just, they're just the ending of the story and very important. So, and I really like talking about last sentences. Um, so yeah, when I finish a book, the last sentence is just something that I read over and over and over and over because it's the last loose end of the story that I can grab before I completely fall into the darkness when I finish the story. <laughs> Sorry. Um, back to normal. A, a last sentence is something the author really thought about as it, it, it completes the story so it has to be very good in my opinion. These aren't in any particular order by the way. I can choose my favorite sentence. I mean, that's just impossible. The one that I first want to show you is from The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time by Mark Hedden. I just started reading this one today, so it was a bit tricky to look for the last sentence, but I really, 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 really enjoyed this book, so I thought perhaps it would have a um, beautiful ending, which it has, and I want to read it out loud to you. And I know I can do this because I went to London on my own and because I solved the mystery of who killed Wellington. And I found my mother and I was brave and I wrote a book and that means I can do anything. This is the sort of ending that leaves you feeling very positive and happy. And this last sentence is in the style of the rest of the novel as this is um, narrated by a 15 year old autistic boy. So it's kind of child childish and this was some this is something he could say and just made me feel very fuzzy and happy. The next one is The End of The Age of Miracles by Karen Thompson Walker. But among the artifacts that will never be found, among the objects that will disintegrate long before anyone from elsewhere arrives, is a certain patch of sidewalk on a California street where once, on a dark afternoon in summer, at the waning end of the year of the slowing, two kids kids knelt down together on the cold ground. We dipped our fingers in the wet cement and we wrote the truest, simplest things we knew. Our names, the dates and these words. We were here. This book is about the earth slowing down and all the consequences it has. And this um, ending is just a very, very beautiful way um, to end this book, in my opinion. I read this one in Dutch and the, the title in Dutch is We Were Here. Um, so this kind of refers to the title in the Dutch um, version of it. And then for the next one, we've got the end of Jack Kerouac's On the Road. It's, I just really, really, really like this ending and it's really long, so bear with me. But it's beautifully written and I just, I love it. So in America, when the sun goes down and I sit on the old broken down river pier watching the long, long skies over New Jersey and sense all that raw land that rolls in one unbelievable huge bulge over the west coast and all the road going and all that road going all the people dreaming in the immensity of it and in Iowa I know by now the children must be crying in the land and where they let the children cry and tonight the stars will be out and don't you know that God is Pooh Bear the evening star must be drooping and shedding her sparkler dims on the prairie which is just before the coming of complete night that blesses the earth darkens all rivers, cups the peaks and falls the final shore in, and nobody, nobody knows what's going to happen to anybody beside the forlorn rags of growing old. I think of Dean Moriarty, I, th I even think of old Dean Moriarty, the father we never found. I think of Dean Moriarty. The feeling that this, like, look how long it is, is this whole section is one sentence. And the feeling that it has, that's the feeling of this, comp this whole book, and I just, I just really like the book and I really, 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 really like the ending. Then next, fourth, although this is not in a particular order, we have The Looking for Alaska by John Green. Watch me put a John Green or Harry Potter in every video that I make. Watch me. Perhaps some of you m may already know which sentence I'm about to read out loud as it's quite a famous quote of Looking for Alaska. The last sentence is, so I know that she forgives me, just as I forgive her. So Thomas Edison's last words were, it's very beautiful over there. I don't know where there is, but I know it's somewhere, and I hope it's beautiful. A anyway, it's very fun that last words are quoted in the last sentence of a book, and 
I know that she forgives me is just a very important ending. The last sentence that I want to read out loud is from, it's kind of a funny story by Ned Fizzini. I'm kind of cheating on this one as it is not a sentence, um, it's just the last, how do you say this in English, like the last bit, um, but it's just <laughs> mostly one word um, sentences. So we'll just read that. Ski, sled, play basketball, jog, run, 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 run home, run home and enjoy, enjoy. Take these verbs and enjoy them, they're yours, Craig. You deserve them because you chose them. You could have left them all behind, but you chose to stay here. So now live for real, Craig. Live, 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 live. All these words show how beautiful and how precious life is. I think that's a very um, important message. It's a modern day happily ever after in some way. Um, live for real, Craig. Live, 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 live. His life continues, it does. Uh, he doesn't commit suicide, but he will experience all the beautiful things that our world has to offer. So that was it for today. These were my top five favorite sentences, favorite last sentences. If you've made a video yourself, please link it down below as I would love to check it out as I really enjoy last sentences. Um, if you didn't make a video, please just go to your book, through your books and look which last sentences um, you like. For now, have a very good one and I hope to see you later. Bye!